So hello everyone, welcome to GC Explains, a brand new series where I explain different topics of computers. And today's topic is VSync and its versions. So what is the VSync? Well, to understand VSync, you first have to understand how GPU and your monitor works to display a frame. Now to display a frame, there are three components works together. GPU, display and frame buffer. Wait, 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 GC, what the f*** is frame buffer? Well, frame buffer is a small portion of your VRAM which stores frames produced by your GPU. There are two frame buffers in VRAM, front buffer and back buffer. Now your GPU will render a frame in front buffer and as soon as it finishes, it switches between front buffer and back buffer. Now it will start rendering new frame in back buffer. At the same time, it will also tell your monitor to display that rendered frame from your front buffer. Now your monitor will start scanning from the front buffer and it will display that frame pixel by pixel from left to right. This is called progressive scanning. Now this type of double buffered setup is called double buffering. Then GC what is the f VSync? Calm down, calm down, GC will tell you everything. So let's say your GPU is producing double frames then your monitor's refresh rate. Suppose you have 60Hz monitor which can only show 60 frames in a second. But your GPU is producing 120 frames in a second. So GC what's the problem here? Isn't it good that our GPU is producing more frames than our monitor's refresh rate? Well that's the problem. Problem. Let me show you. Suppose you have 1 Hz monitor. Obviously, no one will have 1 Hz monitor, but just assume that to understand easily, okay? So your monitor can display 1 frame per second and your GPU can produce 2 frames per second. That means your GPU is producing 1 frame in every half second. Now your GPU produced 1 frame in front buffer and told your monitor to display it. Then started producing 2nd frame in back buffer. Now after half second your GPU is finished producing 2nd frame but your monitor is still displaying the last frame and it only displayed half frame. Now your GPU will not care about that and it will switch between buffers just because it finished its work. So now your buffers are changed and your GPU will start rendering third frame and your monitor will continue scanning from the back buffer. Now this is the problem because your monitor displayed first half from the first frame and second half from the second frame. That's why it looks weird and this is called screen tearing. GZ what is the wheezing? Shut up! I'm explaining it. So to solve this asynchronization, we have VSync, which synchronizes your monitor and your GPU. So basically it stops your GPU from producing new frames until your monitor fully displays the last frame. Let's see how. So your GPU rendered new frame, but your monitor is still displaying the last frame. So your GPU will wait until your monitor finishes its work. Then it changes buffers and starts rendering new frame. So this synchronization is called VSync, which solves your screen tearing problem by limiting your GPU, but also introduces input lag because your GPU is waiting until your monitor displays the last frame. And also it will only work if your GPU is producing higher frames than your monitor's refresh rate. Otherwise it will introduce stuttering. Let's see how. So in your game some intense part came, maybe a bomb blast, and your GPU became slow and took more time to render a frame. In the meantime, your monitor finished showing the last frame. So now, because new frame is not ready, your monitor will again start displaying the old frame. And as soon as it started displaying that old frame, your GPU finished rendering new frame. But because of VSync, your GPU will have to wait until your monitor displays that old frame again. This is called stuttering, because you are seeing same frame again and again until your GPU renders new frame. So to solve this problem, adaptive vSync comes in. Let's see the same example with adaptive vSync. So your GPU again failed to render new frame in time and your monitor again started displaying that old frame. And as soon as it started, your GPU finished rendering the new frame. So in adaptive sync, GPU will not wait for the monitor to finish displaying that old frame. It will immediately switch buffers like double buffering, but only if your GPU falls behind your monitor. Now your monitor will display new frame from where it left. So basically, instead of stuttering, you will see screen tearing when your GPU drops FPS below your monitor's refresh rate. This is called adaptive sync. It disables vSync whenever your GPU drops FPS below your monitor's refresh rate. Now our stuttering problem is solved, but we are still getting screen tearing. So to overcome this problem, we have triple buffering, which introduces one more back buffer. So now we have three buffers to play with. 
Now in triple buffering, your GPU will render 2 frames and as soon as it finishes rendering 2nd frame, it will tell your monitor to display 1st frame from the front buffer. Then your GPU will render 3rd frame in 2nd back buffer and your monitor will display 1st frame from the front buffer. Now if your GPU finished rendering 3rd frame, then it will wait for your monitor to finish. And when it finishes, your GPU will render new frame in front buffer and your monitor will display next frame from the first back buffer. Now what happens if your GPU wasn't fast enough to render third frame? Then your monitor will not have to worry because it will have one spared frame in first back buffer. So having triple buffered system like this is good but it will introduce input lag because your GPU is rendering two frames ahead of what you see on your screen. And also your GPU will have to wait until your monitor finishes displaying first frame. And to solve this problem Genius Nvidia found fast sync which is similar to triple buffering but without vsync. Let's see with example. So your GPU rendered three frames and your monitor is still displaying the first frame. Then instead of waiting for your monitor, your GPU will render next frame in available buffer. In this case, it's back buffer 1. So basically, it discards previously rendered frame and renders new frame. Now as soon as your monitor finishes its work, it will display last rendered frame. In this case, it's frame 3. That way, your GPU will not have to wait and your input latency will also decrease because you are seeing newly rendered frame. But this technology drops frames and frame drops will increase if the difference between your monitor's refresh rate and your GPU's render rate is bigger. As you can see so many frame dropped. It's like in one second you are here and in another you are there. Teleportation to two. No, just kidding. You will not notice that much because it happens between two frames and uh, you might be playing at uh, 200 or so. So that's not noticeable, but it is a problem. And to solve this problem, Big Brain Nvidia again invented new technology called G-Sync and AMD named it FreeSync. Both are basically same. So this technology reduces your input latency even more as compared to fast sync without frame drops. So basic idea of this technology is instead of stopping your GPU for your monitor, your monitor will dynamically adjust its refresh rate as your GPU's render rate. Suppose you have 60Hz monitor and your GPU is producing 60 frames per second. Then your GPU's render speed changes to 40 frames per second. Then your monitor will also drop its refresh rate to 40Hz instead of running at fixed 60. Now your stuttering problem and screen tearing problem is solved. But there are two limitations of this technology also. First, it's expensive. You cannot run this on any monitor. You have to buy G-Sync or FreeSync compatible monitor to use G-Sync. And second, this technology will only work if your GPU is producing less frames than your monitor's refresh rate. Because monitor cannot go above its maximum refresh rate. In that case, you will see screen tearing. To solve this problem, you can use G-Sync with V-Sync plus games FPS capped 3 FPS lower than your monitor refresh rate plus nvidia reflex for low input latency that way you can achieve zero screen tearing with no other issues because you are capping your gpu below your monitor's refresh rate and i also said that in nvidia control panel optimization video if you haven't watched it then go check it out link will be in i button and that was it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and if you did then you know the drill like subscribe and share and you can suggest me any video ideas in the comments and i'll see you in the next video with new topic Bye-bye.